Hello, peoples of the team, and welcome to the long, fantastically long-awaited sequel to Cooking with William. This is Cooking with William, Volume 2. Today, we've seen me making delicious chilli, which turned out to be the weakest chilli I've made, actually. The subsequent chilies have been much better over the course of the year. But today, no chilli. No, today we are making Marrow Surprise. And the surprise will be that it is edible, hopefully. Um, so, what what is in a Marrow Surprise? Well, of course, there is a, there's a Marrow, a festive Christmas Marrow. Nothing says Christmas quite like a Marrow. Um, we've got Christmas dinner's leftover mashed potatoes, because apparently I haven't eaten all of the mashed potatoes, but Christmas dinner's leftover stuffing. We've got marrow, uh, and we've got all these jars of, of herbs and spices, that some of which are going, and there's this oil somewhere, but I've not got the oil out. Um, so that is it. That is all the ingredients you need. Some spices, a marrow, and some old Christmas leftovers. It's, it's just as easy as that! Imagine that. Okay, very exciting. So, step one. You, you cut up the marrow. It's nice marrow-shaped slices. Um, let's look at the angle, is it? Ah, that's, that's, that's good. So, how does one chop a marrow? I don't know. Take off the, uh, take off the sticker, obviously. I don't want to cook that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Cut off the bottom. Which is starting to be a bit soggy. Oh, that's fine on the inside though. It's a relief. See, that's it's, that's the colour. It should be nice and not not brown. It's a bit brown in the middle, but I think it should be fine. Uh, cut into nice even slices. Yeah, that looks okay. One, two, three. Mm. It's soggy in the middle. This uh, cable out of the way. We don't really need a cable. Um, right. And we're back in the room. Exciting times. We're still slicing up tomorrow, of course. That was just uh, a slight technical adjustment to the to the technical things. So yeah, the the marrow is sort of this colour on the inside. Is it supposed to be? I hope so. <laughs> It'll be fine once it's roasted. Enough, uh, enough spices and we'll never, never know that it's uh, been sitting in the room for a week. Incidentally, of course, a, a marrow is like a courgette, so this recipe works equally well with a courgette at just much, much smaller uh, helping. So, Marrow surprise. Is it marrow surprising? I think marrow surprise is what, what, what we'll call it. This. It's um, courgette surprise is just the scale, the scale down version for for very small people, like Jeek. Jeek likes courgette surprise. Tasty, tasty. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, I don't think. We, I think we need any of this. Just stick up there. No, I haven't cut that out. Okay. Good. So that is step one. Is complete. Uh, is it oh, yeah, I, I neglected to mention this. This recipe also includes carrots. Um, we're, we're, we're cooking some carrots in this. This, 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 this wonderful dish. It's, a, it's an old classic. It's a, it's a secret, ancient family recipe. This, this dish. I've made it many times before. So, what, what, what do we do now? Well, we've got this large tree. Big old, big old tree, regular old big tree. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to put the, the marrow on the tree. That's, that's step one. Hopefully it will all fit in this one tree. Marrow in the tree. It all just goes in like a marrow in the tree. Yeah, no, it's fine. There we go. So you put the marrow in the tree like this. It's all laid out. This food's all laid out for me. Lovely. They're going to treat it. And we open up the carrots and make sure that they've not gone off because 
These are quite old. Ca Everything is really old in this. Um, looks fine. Smells okay. Yeah, so basically, liberally sprinkle the carrots over the top of this. This is uh, quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Great. So, we've got this generous sprinkling of carrots. Mmm, carroty. So the next step, this is the most important step, uh, is you need to put some oil on it. So go slightly off camera, I will tilt the camera around so you can see where we're going. Let's go to the cupboard to get the oil. Um, so this is this is oil. And uh, uh, yeah, you just you just put the correct quantity is some. Some oil. Just Enough to, you know, that's too much. Just a little here, there, and there. Um, a useful hint: if you if you're worrying about using too much of the of the oil and make it too oily, uh, spray on oil is also. Just spray with that on, just to uh, make sure everything's got some without using up all the prop oil. Because this stuff, it's not really oil, it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's spray off. Everything is easier to spray it off. So that is the fundamentals of the dish already made. Um, I'm sure you're wondering what I'm going to do with this stuff. So am I. Um, I'll deal with that in a minute. But now, the seasoning. Most important stage. What are we going to add to it? Well, I've got some paprika. It's always nice. Uh, put a bit of that on. Because this is the this is the big sort of saving grace of this of this dish. If it, if it turns out to be horrible, hopefully the combination of spices will will, will balance it out and it'll taste of something nice. Uh, this is actually quite old paprika. I thought I had a new paprika. There's a new one. Uh, We've also got good paprika. That stuff's quite old, that other stuff's quite old. This is the uh, newer paprika. Probably too much paprika in uh, So that's the first, that's, that's the main spice of choice for any. Uh, I have I have, I have had marrow with paprika before, and it's, you know what, it's, it's, it's okay, it's quite nice. How long does it take? Oh, it's only five minutes, fine. <coughs> so, a um, bit of garlic, this is, this is garlic, this one. Because uh, nothing says kiss me quick like a tasty meal with some garlic in it. Uh, we're going to be less liberal with the garlic. I don't know quite as much as I did with the paprika. A little sprinkling. That's enough. Um, likewise with basil. Basil faulty. I hope my basil isn't faulty. Uh, put that in. Yum, yum, yum. We've got uh, thyme, that's my personal favourite herb choice. A bit of that. I actually like thyme. Because as long as you don't run out of time, you should get your dinner done on time. That's the old saying. Uh, another personal favourite, a little bit of cumin. Can't go wrong. Right, I think, I think that's probably going to be our spices and herbs. Some people like 11 different types of herbs and spices, but uh, I think 4 or so 5 is probably enough. Put a bit more oil on top of that just to just burn away. So that is, um, you know what, we're probably on the rest of it. Okay, so, uh, oh no, it's here. Great, so we oil it up a bit more. Preheated the oven. Uh, always preheat your oven, unless you forget, in which case don't. But uh, yeah, that's. Um... So I'm going to put this in here for about a half an hour. Then we're going to see how it is. But in the meantime, while we wait for the for this to cook, we're going to make the second part of the dish: Christmas Day leftovers side dish surprise. And it's a surprise that it even goes with it. 
Let's, let's, let's see how that goes. Let's take this in here. On the top, because it's uh, a little bit of work. And um, let, us, let us resume in a moment with the side dish. So, what we have in this bowl is the leftover mashed potato from Christmas Day and Boxing Day, which yesterday they did before. Uh, the leftover stuffing, same, and a few spare flakes of mashed potato which I've just taken out of the freezer just to bulk it out a bit, hopefully moisten it up because it looks a bit dry. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to microwave this up for a few minutes, give it a stir, add a few more choice ingredients to this mixture, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Over here we've got our... Uh, how far around can I turn this? Can you see the microwave? Yeah, you can just see the microwave. Great. Um, I'm going to stick this in for um, I'm gonna give it three minutes. And uh, in the meantime, while we wait for that, uh, that's, that's only been in for, for probably time, shouldn't it? Right? It's been in for about five minutes, so that one. I'm going to check it again in uh, about, I don't know, five, it's half, half past four, so I'm taking about five to five. Uh, but what other ingredients do we need for this trip as well? Um, I'm thinking, right, a little bit of queso, just to, uh, see what I, know. I might add that to that, or I might sprinkle it onto the, onto the, onto the roasted thing, I don't know. But that's, that's always good, that, that, that's going to bulk it out a bit. Also, in an effort to um, moisten up the, uh, the side dish, I'm going to put a bit of this in. So this is um, eggs. So it's what do you call it? Um, it's eggnog minus the rum. Rumless eggnog. And uh, that's, that's, that's a bit of it. This uh, is it's quite a simple, straightforward dish. It's some vegetables with spices on them and some leftovers mixed together with. with various non-vegan friendly products just to sort of bulk it out a bit. It, it, it's an original recipe. Might put some more time into the uh, more time into it. I like thyme. Um, my personal favourite uh, herb. Quite an old thyme, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it still smells like thyme, so it's uh, goes well with um, goes well with lamb thyme. We're not having lamb today. There's, I, I have no meat to eat. I've eaten too much meat over the last couple of days. Uh, so this is, a, this is a vegetarian dish. If you want, though, you can meat it up by, I don't know, chucking an animal in there. You can catch a rat, I suppose, in a rat trap. Just chuck that in. Um, if you slice up one of your fingers by accident when you're chopping up the marrow, chuck that in. It's fine. It's, it's great. It's, it's, it's all good. Uh, still got another minute to go. Um, you know, the obvious thing to do while waiting for this would be just turn it off and start again in a minute. But, do I do the obvious thing? I do not. I, you know, this, this, is, this isn't cooking with sewage. This is cooking with ingredients sent to me by sewage. What, what, what ingredient? Um, and it's not sewage, like, literally. Obviously, that would be disgusting. Uh, although, I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, uh, what sort of um, cats? Cats eat their own poo, don't they? There, um, there's, a, there's a word for that, I can't remember what, what it is. And hedgehogs, here's, here's a fun fact, you know hedgehogs, they, when they, like other people's poo, they'll chew it up, yeah, and then they'll make it into like a foam, and then just rub it all over themselves. Um, or so I've been told. I don't know why they do that, but they, they do, that's what they do. It's a hedgehog thing to do, I suppose. Um, I'm not a hedgehog, so I won't be doing that. Instead, I'll be cooking marrow surprise. That's that's a good, that's a good segue back into my cookery. That's almost done. Um, just plug a fork. This is where the forks live. Just, just slightly out of frame. That's um, if, if you're ever looking for a, for a fork, just work out where the frame is. Yeah, and it's just slightly out of frame. Now that's pinned. So let's get this out and get a stir. And uh, I, I, I just get a stir. No, okay, so that's a good start. It's basically a small meal of potato. Um, 
I don't know if that's already a thing. If not, it's uh, this is side dish combinations prize. It's a bit dry, but that's fine. I was expecting that. That's why I put the, the new potatoes in. Fresh potatoes in. Because no, don't switch off. There we go. The professionalism is, is astounding, isn't it? I don't want too much of that because I don't feel like it is. Um, okay. You know where the origin of mayonnaise is? It, it, the place where it comes from originally? It comes from Menorca, the uh, city, town of Mahon. It's, uh, it's even named after it. It's Mahon, or Mao, Mayo, you know, mayonnaise. It's just about here the connection. You strain yourself. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's an interesting factoid. One of many such factoids you'll be learning at the same time as learning how to cook a marrow. This, this stage here has nothing to do with people tomorrow. You know, this, this is just stuff I have. That's not quite nice. Um, put time. So it's nearer the camera. It's coming in to be friendly. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm being friendly too. Let's stick that down here again. That's good. That's going to be cooking for ages. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that'll add a bit of flavour to this. So, as I said before, it's my, my personal favourite of the herbs. Uh, we don't get it in much, that's a really old time, I said that already, some old time. It's, we don't really get time served in, in, in dishes very often, but uh, since I'm the one doing cooking, we get time enough for everyone. It's adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. Uh, okay, that's uh, I'll that a bit longer in a while. There's not a lot of that, but um, there's a lot of other stuff, so it's fine. Obviously, that microwave I'll get in a minute. I might actually put some more flakes in there. So we put a few bits of this in. This is, uh, this is cheese. A couple of drops of that. Just to uh, add a bit of cheesiness to it, I guess. Put on an awful lot because it's not an awful lot of uh, that's good. That'll do. Enough. Good. So, um, the big question is. Why why are we cooking this today? What is the well not why why today? Why why at all? Why why are we cooking roasted marrow surprise? Well, you should know that. You sent me a marrow. That's that's long and short of it. And by you, you know, you're the only person that's watching this, certainly. You, 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 no one else is watching my marrow cooking video. This isn't a general interest video, this is a super interest video. And the good thing about this cheese is it's orange box space, so I'm always going to miss it if I stick it in. I'm thinking actually I'll put some more mashed potatoes, get some more mashed potatoes. Right, slightly more than that. I don't know if I'm going to too much. But, uh, I don't know. So, um, another slight filming break while I go and get some more mashed potatoes. <laughs> And we have returned. I've not only have added more potato to this, I've actually added some peas as well. Just just some peas. I hope you're following this recipe and making careful notes because uh, these are very specific amounts. We've got some and a bit more. That's the exact quantity you need to add. Uh, and I'm going to sit this back in my room for another three minutes. Uh, I think that seems to be the right amount of time, isn't it? Uh, this, on the, in the meantime, turning back to our uh, potatoes back over here. We have got, uh, I'm taking a look at the moment, and I think it's probably a good idea to move this uh, roasting tray down a shaft. It's a uh, thought I had earlier. Nowhere near roasted yet, but I uh, don't want to, um, to cook it too fast or anything burnt. I might have to turn it over at some point, but we'll, we'll worry about that. You know what, we'll worry about that when we come to it. These, these things, uh, it's. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to worry about the thing too early. That, that, stuff in there, that's not going to take very long to do. Um, so yes, join me again in about 20 minutes where I check and find out that my marrow wasn't cooked at all uh, to fly into a wild panic. Look forward to that event coming soon.
Well, these truly are exciting times that we're living in. That's right. It's been half an hour now since I stuck the uh, marrow into the oven. I'm going to take it out, give it a bit of a shake, turn everything over, and maybe a bit more oil and paprika, and stick it back in. So that's that is that is the the current stage of development of this exciting culinary adventure. There is a big waft of a waft of uh, whatever hit me with a couple of here. There we go. Let's stick that up here. Hold on. Take that close because it's uh, the oven is still not heated to the desired temperature. Uh, let's get a uh, first slice of this. Um, I'll do the trick. I will turn everything over. The trick is the problem with me being and the whole kitchen should be like this much higher. Um, it's very hard to have my head and the countertop in frame at the same time. So let's turn all this over. Looking, uh, yeah, it's starting to cook. Some different consistency than before. I thought really got. Uh, Definitely a bit longer. The, uh, the, the herbs are, are, are browning, not so much the marrow, but that's okay. It's so another, another 20 minutes. We'll probably have something resembling food. I've also the, um, I've taken this whole stuff out of the, uh, out of my food now. I'll put it back in for a few minutes more before um, I eat it. Exciting world that we live in. A world where you can cook a marrow and then you can eat it. I mean, just one of those things alone would be exciting enough. The cooking marrow and then eating the marrow that you cook. That would be good. Right, so now we've got the marrow on the top and it doesn't need any more oil, but it does need a bit more paprika. Let's do paprika and a bit. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Uh, plan as well is to serve it uh, with a nice drizzling of, 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 uh, of, of, of this sauce that I found in the cupboard. Um, it's, that, that should be nice, just uh, sort of plan B in case the actually is disgusting. Uh, I know that in my sauce, but uh, it doesn't well. Just keep everything nice. Keep it, keep it fine. Um, okay, so that's uh, I'll give that a bit of a shake. And I'll stick it back in for another know, 20 minutes. But we're paying very close attention to the, the fine details of this dish because it's, uh, you know, if you, if you get the minutiae even slightly wrong, you end up with a horrible mess. Horrible mess. Horrible mess. If it was a nice mess, that'd be fine. A horrible mess? I don't, I don't think so. I don't want one of those. Okay, so join me again in another 15-20 minutes when we'll see if that is looking cooked-ish. I want it to be slightly brown. That's my life ambition right now. Slightly brown. And not just brown because of the, 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 the herbs are starting to burn a bit. So let's see if that happens, shall we? Ooh, coming in goon. <laughs> Okay, it's time to be excited, just really excited. I've looked up, um, I don't think marrow does go crispy, so it's, it says cook until tender, it is quite tender looking now. So what's going to happen now, I'm going to take it out, let it sit for a while, just to make sure it's fine. That um, stuff in the bowl, that's just getting out a quick minute and a half, just to make sure it's heated up. I'm going to take out, I've got my bowl, my plate heating up in the sink, just in the hot, some hot water, so I've got a nice hot plate. I'm going to take out the roasted marrow, I'm going to serve it up, I'm going to have a side helping and that, a big pile of that, I'm going to have a drizzle of this, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be fantastic. Let's, uh, let's turn the camera back so we can actually see my little, little corner from this uh, preparation. Um, so first of all, we need to um, so we're get really hot plate out of the sink. Okay. Let's uh, take the take the marrow out first. The first call duty. Comes out some gully waft of heat comes out there. That is definitely cooked now. Sit it there. Um, turn off the oven. 
so that's exciting, isn't it? I'll, I'll show you it. Uh, I think that's ready to. That's what it looks like now. It's sort of uh, cooked, brownish, crispy, making funny noises, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully, that will taste delicious. Say delicious, as they say in no, absolutely nowhere. No, no, it says that. Uh, my my side dish is also ready. Um, I don't think I don't think I've added anything to that since the last thing I said about it. So that's fine. Mm, it smells quite nice. I think that's uh, yeah, looks about right. So this is this has been cooking with with William. This has been the, the sequel to the original cooking with William Volume Two. Uh, I'll be excited for Volume Three, which will be in another year. Because uh, we're not producing these at any great rate, are we? I've made so many chilies since that first one. That first chili was, was such a novice chili compared to the subsequent chili I made. So, um, I'm going to try and serve this up. I don't, there's quite a lot of it, so hopefully I don't have too much. But, uh, if, if you enjoy, I can come back for seconds. Just uh, move the plate closer. Seven. Seven. The key trick to this, no matter how terrible it ends up being, the presentation, if the presentation is good, then it's a success. The presentation can cover a multitude of sins when it comes to marrow, just specifically with marrow. What I'm doing is I'm putting the circles in like a circle, a circle of circles. Already, already got the plate looking like someone's. Uh, Taking a dump of it, never mind. Oh, look. Carrot twist again. Carrot that area. Of course, um, you need to make sure you've got a clean work surface before doing this. Because uh, otherwise, if you drop a carrot work surface, you can't do it like that. Very good. So, we've got a few rings left. We'll go back for those uh, afterwards. I think we've got carrots in the middle. You we'll probably have used the, uh, the kitchen. Kitchen magic. But I did not. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, looking good. It's looking tasty. Get the um, the bowl. Here we are. This is the uh, special side dish I made. That's what we're going to do in the middle. I'll put a stick of fork. So yeah, that's good. So this is um, this to sure This is. Stuffing and potatoes and peas, what would she have? This is uh, a special site usually I invented myself. I call it William on the Side. William on, William on the Side, that's what it's called. It's the official name for this dish. Uh, it's a traditional accompaniment to roasted marrow surprise, which of course is everyone's favourite dish. Um, I look forward to seeing Cooking with Sewage, where you attempt to recreate this dish. Tasty meal. Um, I'll put all that on there, because I'm not going to have a lot of it. And then to finish off, to finish off, drop the spoon down the back. Let's finish off just because of this. And that is it. That is my traditional local classical dish of marrow surprise with William on the side in the middle. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoy making that dish yourself using using a marrow that I will send you for your Christmas. I, I'm not sending you a marrow. I might send you a marrow. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs>
with as as its uh, its a condiment of choice, leftover Christmas custard. That's that's it. That's just that's what we're supposed to have afterwards, just to cleanse the palate, just to just to de deacclimatize from the wonderful experience of eating marrow's prize, roasted marrow's prize, with William on the side, in the middle. That's that's the full name of the dish. Um, also known as Moody Old Narrow. Moody Old Narrow. Are we old orange yogurt? <laughs> that was um, Arthur Sheffwagon coming to you live from the kitchen. Ah, uh, it's because I ate all the, all the narrow. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how to make leftover Christmas pudding because you should know it. Everyone knows Christmas pudding. It's a bit of normal. Normal, regular old pudding. That is just, you know, just let you know. This is 2017 is off to banging the start. I mean, it's, for me, it's still 2016. But this video is going to go up in 2017. And that's how it begins with a tasty dish. And, and you know, this year, right? It's not going to be like last year. No one's going to die. This is, we're going we're gonna to call it this no one. Everyone already died. No one's gonna die this year. That's nice, isn't it? Twenty seventeen.